take a look at this problem. We have a lifetime of super glow light bulbs, and it's normally dis distributed. So I'm gonna have some X value that's normally distributed. It's found that 12% fall within 2,000 hours, and 5% operate after 2,500 operate. I wanna find the mean and standard deviation of the lifetime of super glow. Well, I need the mean and the standard deviation. Well, what in the world is this? So it says a 12% fail within 2,000 hours. Well, if here's my normal curve. Okay, so here is 2,000 hours. And what this is saying is 12%, which is the area here, fails within 2,000 hours. So in these 2,000 hours, 12% of them will fail. I also know that 5% continue to operate after 2,500 hours. So here's 2,500 hours. Oh, 2,500 hours. I'm gonna make this a little bit more realistic. Here's 2,500 hours. This area is 5%. I'm looking for two different variables, so I need two equations. This information looks like one equation, and this information looks like another equation. So starting with that first one, in order to relate them, I know my Z score is gonna to equal to 2000 minus the mu over the standard deviation. And so I just have to find my Z score. If I go to my calculator, inverse normal, my area is 12%, my mean is zero, and my standard deviation of one because I want the standard normal curve. And this is going to equal to negative 1.175. And so that means that 2000 minus mu is equal to negative 1.175 sigma, and so 2,000 is equal to mu minus, minus 1.175 sigma. Here is one equation with two variables. Now let's get the second equation. So I know that 5% is equal, my z square will be 2,500 minus mu over sigma. And this area on this, if this is 5%, this area over here all the way to the end is 95. So if I go back to my inverse normal, I get 0.95, and that gives me equals 1.6449. It's equal 2,500 minus mu or a sigma. Rearranging this, I can say that 2,500 is equal to mu plus 1.6449. And now if I take this second equation, oh, sigma, and these two equations, I can simultaneously equation them Easiest way is use my apps. Follow simultaneous. Use two equations, two unknowns. And I know I have one negative 1.175 and 2,000. And I have one positive 1.649. And the last value is 2,500. Enter that in and then hit solve. And I'll even put it to a decimal. And so the mean is equal to 2208.04, which is approximately 220, no, 2210 to three significant figures. And sigma is 177 approximately.
as well. And so here we find our z-scores, make simultaneous equations, and then solve for mu and sigma.